This is a tutorial that is all about how to use the app called EduCreations. It's a free app that can transform your classroom. So let's go ahead and open it up. Right away when I open up EduCreations, it gives me a list of the ones that I've already saved and shared. Down on the bottom, I see that I have my lessons. We also have featured. If you go to the featured ones, you can actually look up a lot of the great stuff that other people are creating in their classrooms. In the top left, you can drop down by subject area and look and see at all the really cool lessons that other people have done. In this tutorial, however, we're going to show you how to create your own. So up in the top left of the screen, under My Lessons, we're going to go to the New Lesson. Immediately it opens up as a whiteboard interface. In the top left part of the screen you see that you have a number of different colors that you can choose from. It's not just these four. If I press on the arrow down I can also choose amongst this palette as well. So we'll start off with a blue pen and go from there. I can add text, I can add pictures, I can undo or redo depending on the different type of problem that I'm trying to work on and I can clear some or all of the content. So let's get into an example problem right away. So 2x plus 5 equals 15. Now from here I can take and since I'm going to be isolating a variable, removing coefficients and constants, I'm going to use different colors to represent each one of those steps, whether it's yellow, green, black, or blue. Now say that my typing or my writing isn't all that great, I can actually go up to the T up here and now that I've highlighted the T, I press on the screen and a text box immediately shows up. So we can say that the next step is, and when I hit this T with the plus next to it, I'm actually making the font larger so that my students can see it a little bit easier. I can change the color of the font. make it smaller and I can actually move around inside this text box and make changes as necessary. So one of the really cool options about EduCreations that some of the other screencasting apps don't allow you to do. The next option is to include a picture so I can go up to here I can choose one from the photos that I've already taken in my camera roll I can take a picture of my own, I can choose one from Dropbox, or I can actually get one off the internet. For the sake of time, we're just going to choose a picture that we already have that's saved in the database. And notice that the picture has a number of options down here. We can fit to the height, fit to the width, so it stretches it out just like a regular picture. We can rotate it, depending on what we want to do. We can duplicate it or we can delete it. So I'm going to actually keep this the way it is, but I see that I also have some writing that I originally had that I don't want anymore. Up in the top, there's that X. I'm going to press on the X. I can either clear the entire page or I can clear the ink that I've used on this page up to this point. So I'm going to do that just to clean things up. Now this is the picture that I started with. So from here I can annotate over top of it and I can clear that out as needed. When I'm finished with this, I can go to the X and I'm going to clear the page. It gives me a whole blank screen. However, one of the great things about show, uh, but showing this app is in the bottom right of the screen, I've got that arrow. This gives me page options. Especially as a math teacher, I like to be able to have different options for different problems. So say this is example number two, and I wanted to graph y equals 3 over 4x minus 6. Very difficult to do without having graph paper. So what we can do, I'll undo all these, what we can do is we can actually give ourselves a coordinate grid. So down in the bottom left I've got that page that looks like it's been folded over in one of the corners and I'm going to press on coordinate grid and it immediately drops in a coordinate grid for me. From here, 
I can immediately start graphing and it makes it a whole lot easier to show the class instead of having to draw out your own graph. From here I can move on to another page and it's a, again the coordinate grid but say I want this time I want line paper. So this helps especially when I'm trying to organize my thoughts. It's very difficult. One of the downsides is you can't change the width or the height, sorry, of the, the lines. However, using two lines is just as efficient and it helps you organize everything in a nice parallel manner rather than just having a blank sheet of paper to work with. This is one of the huge advantages of EduCreations over other screencasting software. Up in the top right of the screen, if I press on record, it'll give me a timer telling me how much time I have spent recording. I can pause this, gather my thoughts, write the next problem. And the next step that we're going to do is we're going to, and you can continue on from there. So it makes it easy for you to gather your thoughts instead of having that running clock and not being able to stop it. You can pause gather yourself and move on. Once we're done, we'll go up to the top left, press done. We can either save the lesson or start over. If we start over, it deletes everything. So we'll save our lesson and we'll just call this our sample. You can give it a description if you'd like and we'll press next. The great thing about this is I can choose to keep it private for myself. I can share it with the world share it with only my students or share it with only my school. You can set up an account to where you can share this only with your students or your school. What I, the one that I like to use is making it public. Just to make it easier for the students to see from anywhere and if other people wanted to access it they could as well. So the mathematics and algebra is correct for this. I will save and it drops it into my database that I have. Now from here I can actually, up in the top right of my screen, I can export it using either Facebook, Twitter, emailing it, or sending the link out to the students. So it makes it a whole lot easier to share out and gives the students a chance to review what you're doing or if you're flipping your classroom using EduCreations, gives them the chance to get that first contact with the instruction right away. Once I'm finished with this, if I've made a mistake, I can go up to the top right to the trash can. And now I've got these red circles with the white line in there. I can go ahead and press on that. And once I delete it, it is gone. But since this is a sample, I'll press delete. Up in the top right, I'll press done. And we go back into that circle of doing this all over again. Thank you very much. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to follow me on Twitter, jstevens009, or email me at jstevens1 at psusd.us. Thank you very much.